Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today, we're fishing a very special place. That's right. We're fishing Tim Galati's pond. Check this out, huh? Tim Galati kind of built this pond here in his property, okay? So it's not really public. If you want to fish this place, you will have to contact Tim Galati so he can take you here, okay? But anyways, this is a one acre pond in his property. He says that he stocked this place with a lot of different types of fish, you know. So we will see how much of that is true, you know. I gotta put my angling skills to test and we will see how many different species of fish we can pull out of Tim's pond. You see my friend Mike is over there with him. They're standing on the other side. They're gonna try the other side first. I'm gonna try this side. So, you know, to make this a little bit more fun for everyone, how about I include a little poll above, you know, so you guys can guess how many species we will be able to land for today. Let's do that. All right, let's get started. Tim says that he stocked this place with a bunch of different types of things back in the days. I say that there's nothing in this pond. So we're gonna start with a very small setup <laughs> with a little gold minnow, all right? And we will see how many different types of fish we can catch here. Tim better surprise me because I'm very picky about this stuff. Let's do it. Oh, we, oh, we got something a little bit bigger here. What is that? Come on, come get it, come get it. Come get it, what is that? We got the king, we got the king of the fish right here so far. What, they didn't even look at it, come back. Yeah, exactly, get it, get it, get it, he got it. <laughs> Okay, all right, after the three inch bluegill, Tim has, pr <laughs> has proved to me that there are at least a few bluegill here that are pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, so we got a bluegill here in the range of uh, six to seven inches, okay? Six to seven inches on the small piece of night crawler. It was very tough to catch it too because there were other smaller sunfish around this one, you know, so the smaller sunfish, they were getting the, the bait all the time. But uh, this does not count as a new species though. It's still, you know, the same good old bluegill. Oh man, ready to go. All right, let's see what else is in here. All right, gotcha, okay, okay. So this is one of the crappies that is stocked here, huh? Yeah, a long time ago. Long time ago. You can see they're like purple blue on the yeah, back yeah, and on the tail. Yeah, that's a beautiful color indeed. What did you catch it on? Micro bucktail jig. Micro bucktail jig, huh? 16 pounds right there. Uh-huh, can't say, yeah, can't say, can't say there's no crappie here, that's true. I'll eventually catch one. There he goes, yeah, beautiful. Oh, dude, there's a beautiful yellow perch. Yeah, come take a look at this. You stocked with yellow perch in the past too? I thought they died out, I could have swore they did. Oh, well, you know now that there's at least one here. Yeah, one, one little when little you little. stocked it with yellow perch, how, how small were they? Jeez, I can't even remember. They might have been fry. Maybe fry? Yeah. So it took a few years for this one to grow this big, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's for Holy sure. Holy moly, nice those are some arm. beautiful collars, man. It's definitely a beauty. Damn, son. I could have swore these guys died out in here. Of course, don't worry about it. Fish on. What we got here? What we got here? Yes, son! Quality crappie. Nice. Quality crappie from Team Galatis pond right here he inhaled that jig head but he's gonna be fine we're gonna remove that soon that is species number two for me right here baby nice beautiful crappie nice job tim damn you wow put, you put your finger in the crook of the hook and push it backwards it all right like feel free to release it man it's not a beautiful crappie here from your pond man uh tell them the price 100 dollars a day no i'm just i'm just messing all right you want to come fish here and Tim Galati's pond, there's no price. You just gotta ask him and he's gonna take you if, if, if he likes you, I guess. <laughs> Let's keep fishing. 
what we got here. Third species of the day. Not one of those that I just lost, but whoa! The small, small mouse just left us here, but that's all right. Next one. All right. What we got here? This is what was biting my stuff. No! You are not going anywhere. Species number four of the day. Oh, it's a golden shiner, dude. It's a golden shiner. All right. There you go. Quick update. My battery just died. But uh, as you guys saw here, I just caught my fourth species here from uh, Team's Pond, you know. So things are not going as bad as I expected to be. There are some different species of fish here. We caught, we started the day by catching the bluegill, the Lepomis macrocutus, and then we caught a black crappie. What, what is that? Pomoxis nigromaculatus. Then we caught, what else? What else? A smallmouth bass, the Micropterus dolomiel, and finally we got the golden shiner, right? Notemigonus chrysoleucus. So that is all good. Four species so far. A particularly Tim got a yellow perch, right? The perch of Flavicens. So we know that there are at least five species of fish here in this pond that Tim Galati stocked, okay? One acre. This is amazing. Now let's keep catching and see what else we can catch. Fish on. What we got here? Oh yeah! Species number five of the day. Yellow perch. Little yellow perch finally decided to take my jig. Now, of course, the one that Tim got is much bigger, but this is a gorgeous yellow perch. I gotta tell you that much. The Perca flavicens, fifth species of the day. I don't know how many more we can pull from here, but uh, you know, we will see. Wow, this is crazy. Five species of fish so far from this one acre, one acre pond that Tim Galati is stocked. Check this out. This is a this is a beautiful yellow perch. It may be very small, but I gotta tell you. The string of this yellow perch is truly gorgeous. Gone. Are these the chips or these are, the, these are the worms? Okay. Oh, you got the worms? You got the super worms right here. Oh, I see. Yeah, Tim, Tim just left in there. Fish on. What we got? Oh, 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 what is that? Oh, holy moly, jumbo bluegill. All right, dude, inhale that little gold minnow. Oh my God. There's some uh, good quality bluegill right here in this pond, the Tim Galati pond right here. Check that out, man. Wow. Gorgeous. He only bumped it, he didn't get it. What the hell is wrong with this sunfish, man? What did you catch the uh, crappy on? Fish on. Uh, two and a half inch, two and a half inch gold minnow oh, right. on a jig head. All right, man, nice little bluegill. They're schooling up right in front of the vegetation here, you know, trying to catch a pumpkin seed right now, but uh, a bunch of bluegill here. Beautiful. All right. So you got a nice shiner there, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a nice golden shiner, dude. Holy oh, shiner cow. Qual you call this quality? This is really nice shiner, dude. You don't see shiners like this, like in local creeks and stuff, you know? Golden shiners in local creeks and stuff is like usually like six inches or something like yeah, that. Out of know? the lakes around here, you get them 10, 11 though. Oh, really? 10, yeah, 11 around yeah. here? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell no. You're not going anywhere, chub, chub or minnow or whatever this is. What the heck is this? I may not have it. What is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. These are small golden shiners, I think. <laughs> yeah, small, small golden shiners. All that trouble for a golden shiner? Yeah, apparently they're spawn good here because, you know, we got even small ones here. That's crazy. Oh, go back. Thought it was going to be something new. Turned out to be a freaking golden shiner. All the trouble. 
Ooh, folks, fishing just got tough here. We haven't been getting a f uh, any more bites, you know, for the last 30 minutes or so, or even more. So Tim over here is suggesting us to go to other spots and try other stuff. So, you know, whoever won answered five on the poll above or in left in the description, you guys are the winner, all right? The winners. And I would like to point out that in a one acre pond like this with different depths, right? It is really amazing to see, you know, so many different species of fish. Tim, how about you tell us a little bit about what you stocked this place with back in the days? So many different fish, basically all the river species. Uh, smallmouth bass, walleye, catfish, um, different minnows and shiners. Uh, I put one rock bass in there, yellow perch, crappie, uh, bluegill, pumpkin seed. That might be about it. I see. Now, what about the depth over here when you made the spawn? I mean, how deep is the overall place here? There's like pockets in it, and then there's ridges between the pockets, and the pockets go up to 15 feet, probably. Up to 15 feet. And you were talking to me just a little bit about a catfish that you caught here just recently. Yeah. How big was that catfish? It was like 10 and a quarter pounds. 10 and a quarter pounds. And the catfish was healthy and everything was good? Yeah, you know, it was like a 30 and a quarter inch or so. It was about the right length for its for its yeah, you guys heard most it. wide catfish. So as I left here in the video, you want to come fish here at the Tim Galati Pond, all right? Contact the guy, uh, pay him some money. All right, maybe he will take you fishing here. Hey, who knows? Nah, I'm, I'm just messing, all right? You come visit good old Tim Galati here, you know? You get to fish in his pond, all right? If you guys don't know who he is, right? I mean, come on. I've been posting so many videos with him in it, right? But just in case, if you haven't checked his channel yet, make sure you go there. Check out his channel. I'm going to leave it in the description. I'm going to link it above. Good multi-species angler, small game hunter. Thanks, He's been... A little bit ill recently but you got to start making videos again hopefully yeah all right hopefully so fellas you know thank you very much for today's for watching today's video hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned and tie lines